Hello everybody, this is Delpha, and welcome back to Monster Kingdom Unite. I've got myself a new weapon, the Eager Cleaver. Um, pretty powerful at the moment, it gets a lot better as the game goes along. This is actually one of like my favourite weapons, well, down the road to get, because you go through like all sorts, you have to go through like the iron route to get this weapon. Uh, bone leads you towards like a bone something dragon which makes it into a dragon weapon which is a very good weapon for later on but for now we can't exactly use that so what we're going to hunt this time is the guy crops because I did something wrong and accidentally went to the swamp beforehand and got the cutscene so you guys are going to see the cutscene of both in a minute so I'll stay quiet in the sec so you can enjoy the cutscene Okay. Alright, I probably won't do what I usually do and do like a monster hunter strategy meeting. There's no point. It's not actually a difficult monster. I think the only time I ever need to do that is when it gets down to hard monsters. Unless people really want me to, then I probably will. There's no point, really. I just say what his weakness is during the hunt. Okay. Um, anything I need to warn? Well, I'll show you, really. It's easier to show than really to tell. Anyway, you'll enjoy this thing. It's, um, I wouldn't say it's a, my favourite monster, but it's not the worst. It's pretty, it's okay. It's, yeah, it's alright. Nothing wrong with it. It's just like a giant chicken. You understand now. Giant monster chicken. And technically, it's part rubber as well, so... I guess you could call it a rubber chicken. The reason why it's more rubber is because of its tail. And part of like a piece of its flesh is actually called rubber something. Rubber skin or whatever it's called. That thing on top of his head is actually important as well. When it does it. If you're first time hunting this thing, I would recommend you going underneath its legs. Though I'm not sure what you should do if you go on Monster Hunter f uh, for you, though. Because that one, um, I'm pretty sure, isn't as nice. This one is quite easy, because it's quite big. If I didn't miss. I'm pretty sure all monsters are at a certain size when you first hunt them. So they're not going to be, like, oh, too big. They're not going to be under uh, too small, either. This game will get a lot more interesting once you get down to, like, the really difficult monsters. Monsters where you actually have to time attacks perfectly. Otherwise, you'll never get hit in. That tail seems to never hit me. Okay. Um, that move confuses you. That's one reason why people not like this, uh, don't like this monster. Mainly because it has the ability to stop you in your tracks and hit you right afterwards. So the best idea is just to... I don't know what buttons you have to press. I usually just press every button I have. And now it likes to do a lot of the same attacks. Oh god, I'm poisoned. Oh my god, you do so much damage. Anyway, that's the dodge roll I was on about. Oh god, this is going painful! Oh my god, he, did, he, he could have killed me if he kept going. Run! Ah! Yeah, I might need to make new armor. At the moment, I'm having a bit of trouble. I should really use a potion as well. An antidote. This is going to get difficult. I forgot how difficult monsters could be. It is in rage mode, so its attacks are doubled. I think. I think that's how it works. Stop going insane! If that didn't hit me! 
It didn't look like it hit me. It's like, for most monsters, that seems to be like the most normal attack they do. Spin. There we go. Bit of rage burger. Okay, important notice. It's, um, asleep. But not, okay. Yeah, it, it fakes death. It has the ability to fake death. Sometimes it'll jump, jump up straight away like that, and sometimes it'll just sit there for ages. So if when you do actually kill this thing, just be very careful. Oh, not again. Did I get me? No. I want the shiny. Where'd the shiny go? Oh, it's leaving anyway. Anyway, when it does actually do that, it actually does mean it's low on HP. So I suppose it's its own way of showing you how it limps. It'll come back in a minute. Um, anything we need to prepare for? Ah, a shop and a weapon. You don't need to worry about any potions or anything like hot drinks or cold drinks in this area. Unless you're going into like 3, 9 and 7, which are caves. I bet it's not even going to come back. No, it's landed. Oh no, it's going back up. We'll see now if it comes back. Just keep watching. Okay, maybe not then. I hate going for this arrow because all you get is hit by poison. Oh, solid. I don't care if I get poisoned. Hello, guy corrupts. Yeah, fly over me. Yeah, most monsters that have the ability to fly will always fly towards you and go right past you. If you get hit by one of those attacks, then you're either not looking or... I don't know. You were just running straight forward. You always wanted to get hit. Oh, is he leaving already now? No, he's just flying over there for some reason. Was that him limping? Oh, and down he goes again. Okay, so as you can see, he's not actually dead or the game, or the quest would be over. It's actually quite easy to tell at this point in the game. But if you're fighting him and another monster, it can be quite difficult. So, people usually tend to leave the, this monster to last. It's the easiest way to tell when it's low on HP. It just... sleeps. What is it doing? God. This monster's a bit insane. And now it limps. God, there we go. Goodbye, Kai... Uh, Kai... Uh... Yeah, you you. Guy Crops. I never know how to say its name. Guy Crops. I just call it Guy Crops. Oh, Light Crystal. Yeah. You can also get them from this monster somehow. I'm pretty sure it's the thing on his head. Power Extract. That's good to have. Thank you, Vespoid. Not Barbana, Vespoid. I still don't know what the difference is. They all both look the same. Oh, no, actually, no. I, now, I do know what the difference is. Power extract again. Yep, nothing valuable really. But I guess the light crystal is quite valuable. But then you can get those in the cave. Oh yeah, and those are like lot prey. The poison version of like the gen prey and Vulcan prey and whatever. Simple. Um, there's only one part of this monster you can actually break and that's its head. Funnily enough. Look at it. Look at it. Oh, hello. Oh, I ran right into that. Ah, who cares? Job done. First monster of the day done. So we have the poison sack, poison sack, and a rubbery hide. I did say it was made of rubber. These are really useful for making um, armor piece, uh, for making the weapons as well. You can also buy them at the shop lady by the um, gathering hall. Actually, I might pop in at the gathering hall. We actually haven't done that yet. Not Thank you, Alan. Alan never brings anything home with him. Though, forget Waven Tears, you get a bit more zenny. 
and more bonus points. Easy as can be. Poison Gaker up. Poison Gapes or Rose? Is that actually how... No, nah, it doesn't sound right. Gapes or Rose. Gape or Rose or what? Gape. <laughs> nah, who cares? I like naming it how I name it. Though I probably named a lot of name. I probably named a lot of monsters wrong. Like Laggy Arcus. I always call it Laggy. Was it Lag... I don't know. It's, it looks like Laggy. Laggy Arcus. Alright. Um... No, well, didn't want that. Let's renovate. Right. Oh yeah, this is actually quite useful. You can use him to go around and collect some very valuable items on the journey. So I might actually buy him. Uh, yeah. Buy him. Um, mushroom tree. Why not? We have enough money for everything. Yeah, I accidentally recorded something I need, didn't need to before and I forgot to uh, keep it. So, yeah. Fishing pier. Half the stuff is like, you can get it straight away, but most of the stuff you might have to wait until you've either done some of the, um, on well, stuff in the gathering hall or not. I think I can actually go online on this. So, if I can, I might play with people. If I can. If I can get my friends to agree to play it. Though, I'm pretty sure one or two of my friends don't like it because they don't want to hurt dragons. Weird friends. But it's fun killing dragons, because they'll kill people. Mm. Oh, that's the excuse, you got to hunt monsters. It's not a dragon, it's a wavering. They're different. Okay, so with this little guy, he'll go on adventures and bring things home for you for a couple of points. So you can send him to like jungle, desert, whatever. And as you go up, you'll automatically get like more options in these little lists. So you could get over like a thousand and you'll bring back some really rare items. So at the moment we've only got those three, but later on we get access to like the jungle, Hillam, Tr Hillam Mountains, stuff like that. So, yeah. Okay, this time we're going to be fighting... Oh, hang on, we haven't eaten. Let's eat. Eaten. Yes, that's good English, Alex. Good English. I'm Welsh. We're not supposed to speak English, we'll speak Welsh. It's not my native tongue. <laughs> there you go. There you go. Oh yeah, I forgot we had three. Um, war meat. Shrimp. I'm not sure what the mixtures are in this. I never... I can figure it out on the other games, but not this one. Give me my food. Oh yeah, and as you actually go up with more cats, your meals will get a lot bigger. Oh. Oh, well, well done, Boyd. You leveled up. Oh, yeah, didn't he, um, yeah, he got me meat. I forgot about that. We got well done steaks, rare steak, and burnt steak. Good way to get lots of different types of steak. Also, you might want to hold on to, like, lots of, like, rare steaks and well done steaks. Because you can turn them into, like, um, a very useful item called, um, like, Mega Dash Juice and stuff like that. Mainly because it's like, it basically makes you never lose stamina, so I could just keep sprinting forever. It's really useful when it comes down to using weapons, I believe, like dual swords and stuff, because that depletes your stamina the more you use them. Stuff like that. Okay, this time we're going to be hunting one of my favourite monsters. Not that one. This one. I love this monster. Because I'm probably also going to go for its armour set. Wish me luck on that. Um, it's a crab, if you want to know that. It, it's pretty easy. I wouldn't call it like a difficult monster. It's like, all you have to do really is just bash it on the head. Or skull. You'll see what it looks like anyway, if you haven't played the game before. If you get stuck on this monster, well, I wouldn't call, I wouldn't really say you could get stuck. It's probably like the next monster you're more likely to get stuck. You know, one thing I should actually eventually try it out and see how bad or how good I am is using the um, bow gun. I've never used... Well, I have used the bow gun before on this or and the bow, but I just can't handle them. I don't like ranged weapons. Is that number eight? Despite that we've eaten, we didn't get anything for it. Typical. Okay, we need to head to number... Um, five and then eight. Because there's only one way into number nine. 
Oh yeah, we need to use a cool drink. Okay. Um, I'm pretty sure that the... Okay, the one other thing I like about the armor set for the um, Dynamo Pernatot is because it gives you like a defense bonus. If you're using a weapon like a lance or a... Um, what's it called? Well, a lance or a gun lance or a shield. Or a weapon with a shield type thing. You'll take less damage when you block with it. Because you take a tiny bit of damage if you block with a weapon. If without it. Here we are. The crab. It's a beautiful monster. Well, I wouldn't really call it beautiful. It's like a giant spider, technically. Isn't it? Anyway, so my recommendation. So your first time hunting this thing, uh, don't attack it when it does that. But I would recommend if you're first time hunting it, try to keep away from its face. Keep to its legs. If it lets you. It's actually quite easy to avoid it. And watch out for that attack. That attack is really powerful. And it likes to do it a lot. But you can see what is happening. She still bubbles in its mouth. Yeah, uh, the head bit at the back is actually from another monster. Which you'll be single. Oh god, this is painful. This is going to be painful. I can't believe that didn't hit me. Luckily, it's a pretty easy monster to jump underneath. This hammer isn't doing enough. Out. Yeah, it does side sweeps as well. The monster gets a lot more deadly as the game gets further in. Though I still like hunting it. One of my favourite monsters. Oh, okay. This is when it gets a little bit more difficult. Well, not difficult, but... As you can see, it likes to um, do that. But luckily, it also leaves itself wide open afterwards. You could actually do something clever and just do a, like a... Well, not I wouldn't call it clever, but you could actually beat into it quite a lot. Because just one or two of those side swings aren't really going to hurt you. I'll knock you over, but it's not going to hurt you. You're probably just better off just doing one of these massive hammer swings, like this. Okay, when it does that, that means I've damaged the skull on its back. Oh yeah, and don't attack it when it does that, because it's somehow it hurts you if you hit it afterwards. But usually people put, like, bombs around it or something. I'm pretty sure if you use... What was it? One of these? When it does that, it'll make it fall over when it does that attack. Oh, it's in rage mode. We got bubbles. Yep, and as you can see, it's in rage mode. It does a lot more damage. If that hit me, I would have been dead. I think. So at the moment, my armor isn't very good. Where's it gone? It's left the area. I think it's left the area. No, nope, it's just standing there at the moment. What's it doing? The cat's just cheering for some reason. There we go. It's actually quite an easy monster to knock over as well. I think it's like one of the only monsters you can actually knock over properly. Oh god. Oh, fuck you. Honestly, probably Hunter hitting the shell isn't the smartest option because it's the hardest part, but... Oh, thank you. Also, it's probably a good idea to start healing when it does that attack. Well, when it does that. Oh, not that again. Just gotta keep... I would say just just to keep moving. When it does that. We've got burnt meat. I'm not sure what burnt meat does if you eat it. Not good, probably. I don't remember trying what burnt meat does. I kind of want to try it, but I think it might hurt... It might heal, like fix your stamina, but I think it might hurt your health. There it is again. I should have shot my weapon. Oh god, it's going to come after me. No! Hurry! There, you can see it on the map, actually. Ah, oh, it's over there. <sighs> I can't actually get close. Okay, that's another attack. I'll charge at you. Honestly, I would never call this monster difficult. If you're not used to, like, rolling and dodging by now, you should be okay. Oh, yeah, you see that? I broke... Both pieces of its back. 
That's that's actually what I wanted. Now we also need to break the claws, which can be a little bit more difficult. But that just basically involves hitting the claws. Why is it gone back there? Is it low on HP? I was fast if it was. Giant crab is scared of a little hammer. I don't care about the claws, I'm just going to keep hitting it. Oh. Well that's um... Well I might get a claw anyway. Yay. Beat you. Giant crab. It's much more deadlier. Because it, when it has an ability to jump up in the air and land on you. Not an ability I like. Because it does a lot of damage. And it's killed me a couple of times. Because you get used to like hitting it multiple times. And if you accidentally roll underneath it, it'll do a lot of damage. As I keep saying. Do we get any claws? No, just three shells. Eh, better than nothing. Also, you know those little crab ones? You used to probably see me hunt in one of the other quests. This is kind of like the bigger version of one of those. I wouldn't really call them like... A problem. You do need like some of their shells, but you don't have to worry about it. Oh, go away, crab. Uh, bug. God damn it, bug. <laughs> I hate them so much. I think there's a quest later on where you said she have to fight the queen. Not fun. Definitely not fun. Here we go. Yay, we did. Oh, we got blood red horn. Okay, thank you. Oh yeah, we did get claws. And shells. That's pretty good. I believe. Yep, that's it. Right, there's only one more monster of this line of quests. I feel like, yeah, there's only one new monster in this little quest group now. Okay. Oh yeah, dynamo ecology. I suppose I should show that. Yeah. Okay. I was going to hunt the Placitoy next, but I'll probably show the um, thing first. And then that'll end up, so and then the next one will be the Placitoy. Okay, save and quit. Ah, nice relaxing session. When you actually know... <laughs> these are probably going to be my shortest videos ever. I have no idea how long they are. If you have trouble with these monsters, then, well, you need some help. It's probably because I kept using, like, I don't know. I don't know. Maybe because I had multiple monsters on the same one. Uh, one horn dynamo. Nope, that's not it. There it is, dynamo ecology. I like this one. It's actually quite funny. Because it has everybody's favorite felines. One thing I never actually understood is what they're actually after. Why are they after the horn? Let's just look at that. Try and just saw it off. Typical, typical felines. Okay, for you guys for watching, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, share, and all that good stuff. Thank you again, and good.